What's up guys, welcome to the vlog, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a Diet Coke and Mentos experiment. Behind me we have 50 bottles of Diet Coke and we also have giant bottles of Coke. Check out what Ryan's holding right now. It it's is a, oh, huge. Geez, again. And this is a 10 liter, <laughs> so this is a 2 liter. Over. And look how big it is compared to the giant 10 liter. So I think this is gonna have the best reaction. Stove, what, what, do you, what is this? This is 16.9 uh, um, ounces. Fluid ounces. Fluid ounces. That's little. And then <laughs> Liz has three giant bottles of Coke. So we are going to be filling these up, doing them with Mentos, and see if we can make the best reactions you guys have ever seen with Diet Coke and Mentos on the internet. That is the challenge today. And we also are gonna do a $10,000 challenge in this video for the highest soda fountain is going to be the winner. So those are the two things that we're doing in this video. Let's get started and see how this Diet Coke and Mentos works. This is how much soda is in just one of these bottles. What's that thing gonna do? Well, that's the pump for the drain, but uh, this yeah. is mostly water. We just wanted to see how much it was. We're gonna fill this up with 10 liters of Diet Coke. Oh, I can smell it. It's mostly water, though. Wow, that is... Ew! Whoa! Oh. That's not working. Jeez. Oh! Ew. Oh my gosh! Oh gosh, this is not a... Uh... Oh Pull gosh. Out of there. Pull, out of there. Pull it out! We love soda. We love Mentos. Wow, go Liz. We love Lizzie. All right, Ryan, why don't you kick us off with our first reaction? Yeah, I've never done this before in my life. I'm literally just chasing stuff down with this thing. You so, Mentos. I am eating. They're pretty good. I've never had the Mentos before. Yeah, they are good. Nice and easy. Okay, and you dropped him in. Oh, 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 jeez, jeez. Stop! Hey, hey, oh, what are you now, doing? What do you mean stop? Why are you trying to make it stop? That's good. That's awesome. I mean, that was like decent. I mean, it was like three inches. I don't want to see something like six feet or more. We got to make these a lot better. I also have a feeling that the giant bottles are going to probably launch like the height of the house or something. It's still going. Can I try again? Three, two, go, 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 we go. That worked a little better, That's I gotta awesome. say. Okay, so six Mentos worked better than two Mentos. You know, we're gonna try a bunch of different experiments and then we're gonna do a competition and the winner's gonna win $10,000. So that's gonna be super cool. But I'm really hyped for those big ones. Look how big these things are. I mean, this is huge. Look at that. Right, why, don't you, right, so why don't you do your little guy? All right, so I'm gonna try to get all of them in here. The whole that's sleeve? The whole thing. The whole sleeve. How much does that mean? It's such a small bottle. Stove <laughs> is too small. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. Look Guys, comment down below if you think so. Little bottle is gonna work better than the two liter, not to mention. <laughs> You're not using the big one, are you? No, 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 no. But don't get them wet. Three, two, one. Move your hands. <laughs> Move your hands. <laughs> that was awful. That was bad. That was terrible. All right, let me show you guys how it's done. This is what I call the master class. Master class? Whoa! Gotta take a sip first. Liz! What? Come check this out, I'm gonna get master class. This is gonna be good. Okay, yeah. I have a feeling this is gonna be uh, the winning technique. Whole sleeve, baby, one go. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Yes! Master class. Was actually the whole sleeve? Full sleeve, yeah, it worked. Wow. It actually worked. Look, this was yours, though. That was Ryan's, and that's mine. You can see the level. Oh, right. This is up there. Ryan. Poor guy. All right, guys. Now that you guys know how the Coke and Mentos reaction works, the four of us are going to now compete for the highest soda fountain. The winner is going to win $10,000. So we're going to have 30 minutes to experiment and try to design the best method to create the highest soda fountain. And uh, everyone seems to have a completely different approach. Let's see who's going to win this thing. Liz, what are you doing over here? You know there's no um, Coke in there. Oh, no. I forgot the Coke. I'm not stupid. <laughs> She's stupid. Uh, I'm putting the Mentos in here and then I'm gonna spill all the soda in. So I'm doing like a reverse. reverse. Guys, comment down below if you guys think this is gonna work. Um, she's doing the reverse. She's already has the Mentos in the Coke bottle and then she's gonna dump the soda into it. I, I don't, I've never seen that before. Right, what are you working on over here? So, have you ever heard of the concept of a blow dart? A blow dart. A blow no. dart where you have a tube and you put a dart in it and you oh, blow through okay. the tube and it shoots out. Okay, so what does that mean for so you? So we're going to do that, but with like 30 Mentos into the Coke bottle. We're going to drive them down with the force of air. From your mouth? From my mouth. So it's it, it sounds like a great opportunity for them to come right back up into your mouth. <laughs> I just drink it through the straw. 
Carter, I'm ready. You're ready to do your first test? Look at all the Mentos. Wow, that's a lot of Mentos. I'm doing the opposite. So you're gonna dump that into there. All right, guys, what do you think? Steph, is this gonna work? There's no way. She's pouring the No, that's not gonna work. What are you doing with all that? Don't worry about that. <laughs> Ryan, is it gonna work? There's not a chance. Well, let's see, guys, if Liz's experiment is gonna work. This has gotta be quick. Right. Oh, someone gosh. Get <laughs> Did someone get you what? <laughs> some tree, some, some tape. It's gonna be the worst experiment we've seen yet today. <laughs> Perfect. Just like my soccer skills. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Up, oh. up. Uh, uh. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. It's not perfectly lined up yet. Oh I my know. gosh, pull it, go, commit, commit. Oh, <laughs> oh, that one squirted more than that one. That was a disaster. No, my idea flopped. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay guys, so Liz's first experiment completely flopped. I don't even think it was, didn't even come out of the bottle. I mean, the other bottle without the Mentos ended up squirting more. Guys, I think it's time. I want to just try a classic one. I'm going to fill this with soda and just drop it in completely normal. I think just the pure size of this thing is going to get that soda launching out the top. All right, all right, all right. All right, let's see it. I got to pour it nice and gentle because I don't want the carbonation to come out. So I gotta start nice and easy. It's filling up. Filling up. We're starting to get full, Stove. Are you gonna do the whole thing? Yeah, I mean, we gotta do a classic test. I'm super curious to see how this is gonna work. Yeah, same. All right, guys, this is it. This is the mega bottle. I'm going for three packs of Mentos. This is the first attempt at this. We're gonna see if this is gonna work. I think this is going to work really well. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one. got two packs of Mentos in. And that was actually really impressive. That was, that was actually, whoa, you see how thick the like, oh thing God. was? I'm actually very pleased with the results of that. And that was only my first try. It's only gonna get better from here. I think it's time for us to kind of start to solidify our designs here and then move on with the competition. Ooh. All right, so here's the invention. Lego tube, sealed off, vacuum sealed, so good airflow can get through. This is a grip to grip the top of the bottle. Okay, I'm gonna need an assistant on this one. Okay, nice and ready. Listen, listen. Can't even hear it yet, right? Nice and easy. Mm. You got you a Mentos in there? You gotta break the seal. That was crazy. It went in my nose. <laughs> that was actually. Wait, really what? Because that actually went so high. What the heck? I did, it completely filled my mouth. <laughs> Look at your face. You're covered in it. <laughs> I couldn't. I just had, like closed my eyes and hoped right there. <laughs> it, I, that went like five that feet in the air, high. like six feet. That was yeah. impressive. Wow. I gotta say, right? I thought yours was the dumbest thing I've ever seen, but it worked. It worked, dude. I got blasted. It's impressive. It came, very, it came very back impressive. Up the tube. Hello. What you doing there? I'm uh, working on my contraption. Basically, that's what it's gonna be Whoa. on top of Whoa. that. Okay guys, this is it. This is what I'm doing. I've seen Liz's, I've seen Ryan's, I've seen what Stove is doing. So I gotta change mine up. I was just gonna do a classic like this and perfect it, but I got a modification that I think is gonna make the giant bottle even better. The way, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine it with the small bottle. So I'm gonna take the nozzle off this one, attach it to that one, so I get the volume of the big one, but the small opening nozzle of the small one. Let's see? Okay. I am gonna be trying to do a giant one of these, but with pure baking soda instead of Mentos. It's interesting because I saw this on the internet that this might actually work better than Mentos, but I've never tried it. So let's try one experiment real quick with this. Okay, my first experiment was an absolute flop, so I'm trying something new. I'm cutting a hole. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, guys, it worked. And now um, my butt is soaked. I have soda all over me, but I can't believe that worked. So now, since I just tested it on a smaller scale, think of how high this will go okay. when the competition starts. 
I might, I actually might splash the moon with this one. It's it might be stained after, so check that out. <laughs> Here we go, here's my last test. This is all we're gonna have time for before we get into the final competition. <laughs> These things are so heavy, they weigh like, oh my god. I mean, it, I don't know how much it weighs. Look how, just tell me how ridiculous this looks, by the way. Try to take a sip out of it? Nah, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know it's too heavy, it's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm literally standing in Coke. You guys are probably wondering, oh, Carter, that's so gross on your feet. You would be right, except that uh, we spent hours in an entire swimming pool. Yeah, I'm getting flashbacks to the soda swimming pool. This is very, yeah, like the soda hot tub, we're basically, we're shoulder deep in it. And gross. So I have no issues with a little bit of Coke on my feet. Okay, ready? All right, guys, comment down below what you think is going to happen with the giant bottle and baking soda. Here we go. Hang on a minute. I think that definitely worked better than Mentos. That, that, that 100% yeah. it did. Right? And that was only half. That was only half. That was crazy. What mm -hmm. if you combine? A very interesting last minute uh, discovery. I know. Wow. Money. That is uh, very interesting. I might need to change very my. So if this grabs a bottle. Very, very Are we allowed to use it? Is it fair game? Yeah. 100%. Ryan just asked if it was fair game or not. I mean, if you see the boxes on the tarp, that means it's fair game. So, Carter just did a test. I'm actually going to do a test myself. A quick little test, actually, is I'm going to put some baking soda and Mentos at the same time in a Coke bottle and see what happens. I think it's literally going to explode. I'm going to use one of the, the small ones. Smoke small Coke bottles because it's a small little test. And I'm excited now after seeing the baking soda. I've been thinking of how I'm going to do this. I still don't know, but I'm going to try to dump it in at the same time. What the heck is this? <laughs> so you're doing 50 50? Got... Okay, I, I don't know if that's going to help you or just hurt you. I just want to see if it works. Oh. Okay, so it works. That was a two inch fountain, so. Two inch fountain. Better than, I mean, with one Mento though. And half a like, little bit of a baking soda. I don't know. Let me, I mean, I, can, I got a two liter right here. You want to see a two liter? All right, go for a two liter. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> oh my what God. the heck? Okay, I'm getting proved wrong every, like, every time I think I go, that's not going to work. It ended up, that was, that was, that was the was, highest today. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that was like a seven foot soda tower. That was insane. Oh my actually. gosh. Now I've, I'm changing my whole, whole. Whole plan now. My strategy is completely different. Wow, everyone's going with a little bit of baking soda in their plan. You guys ready for this? Is this your final? So, do you want to know what inspired this? Yeah, me. I inspire everything. In, no, I'm just kidding. What, what inspired Forever ago, in the Revolutionary War, they had muskets, right? Which was okay. packed with powder and then a hard object. So, what mm -hmm. you do is you use a ramrod to slam it in and then it fires out. So, we're going to do that. There's powder in here and there's the Mentos in here. So, what are you doing in there? You eating? We're out here trying to win money. Mine's already perfected. <laughs> so our time for experimenting is up. We are moving on to the competition now. So Ryan's up first, and remember, the tallest soda fountain, it's the only metric that counts, doesn't matter how long it goes for, it doesn't matter anything else, it just matters about total height. So make sure you get that on camera so we can compare. All right, okay. let's do it. All right. Let me jiggle this out. Let me know before you're uh... Uh, now, right? Uh, yep. Okay, here go. Oh, it's not working. Oh, it's backfiring. It got stuck! So it looks like you went about- <laughs> It was an absolute fail. So I would give Ryan a final score of exactly zero inches. <laughs> because we couldn't get the thing on. That's a lesson to the musketeers out there because that technology has been long gone. We don't do muzzle loaders anymore. Probably be for exactly this reason. That was really disappointing because I thought that was going to be really cool. At this oh. point- <laughs> What? Why are you holding a knife? I like was trying to cut a hole on the side, but then it like, exploded because there was so much pressure built up. So. I'm not sure what all this. <laughs> I mean, Liz has got a bag. She's got this. She's got like a whole workshop with a knife. And oh my god! I don't know if this is gonna work anymore. So Ryan went first with his experiment and his musketeer thing. It just completely clogged and jammed. It didn't work. He got a score of zero. I'm thinking if we should give another try. I'm not sure, but we're moving on to the next contestant, and I think that's Stove. So if you're ready, right? Oh, am I up? I think you're up. Oh, I, was, I thought I was okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. I just a little bit more. Uh, well, let's get on the tarp now. Last minute. Let's get on the tarp now. Oh, hang on, what's that? Ryan's over there, all upset stuff. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm upset. It's supposed to work. That's trial and error. You know, we might, I might give you another stuck. try. Okay, I'm gonna go try I'm, to fix it. Just because you scored a zero. If you scored like a seven, like seven inches, oh, I wouldn't give you another score. But because it was an absolute fail and you literally just didn't work, and I want to see it work, I'm gonna give Ryan one more try if he can figure it out before we all go. And it goes back to his turn. Stove's up next with the giant bottle. I'm super excited. These giant bottles are the best. Let's see what he's got. He's also got a huge loader. I'm leaking right now. That's why I got to like tilt it a little bit. Okay. Is that one box? It's one box. All right, here we go. Is everyone ready? Right. All right, go ready? for it. Yeah. Three, two, one. Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. Pull, pull, pull. Wait, you gotta take the thing off. Whoa, what's going Whoa. on? Whoa. Whoa. Wait, what? So, <laughs> it, it, got, it got stuck. Oh my God. Why did you leave that did on? Did it fall in? Ah! What are you doing? I'm so confused what I'm, what's oh. happening right now. <laughs> well, it was supposed to shoot out of the pipe. That was the idea? Yeah. I don't know what's happening. Does that even count? I guess like, the height of the pipe. Right. Uh, but um, you it think- It found that it was only an inch above that. So I think your score is only an inch. I don't think you get the whole height of the pipe because it wasn't a fountain. Well, okay, then let me, uh, I, I know one modification then. <sighs> <laughs> So I'm gonna give you a second try too? Yeah, real quick, second try. All right, fine, I'll give Stove a second try. Let's move on to Liz. All right, I have two. You have two? Okay, fine. It looks like everyone's got two, so everyone gets two tries. Liz made two completely different inventions, so she'll get two total tries. Ryan has one more, Stove has one more, and I still have two attempts at this for the tie itself. We haven't even seen a good fountain, guys, but it looks like Liz is doing something uh, pretty crazy. All right, you ready for this? We have a hole in the side. What, are you, what is all that? And put the Mentos through the side because this is too small to fit. But then it pressurizes and goes up into a really long, skinny fountain. Okay, ready? Yep. This has to go fast. Oh, no, it's a little pinch it though. Go, go, oh. go, 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 go. Whoa! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh, was that with like the height of the balcony? <laughs> It went inside. That was insane. Oh, oh my god. It got in the house? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it made a mess. It's all over the lens of the camera. Oh no. Sorry. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> well. Well, I think we we finally looked. We finally got a fountain. I got a... Oh man, there's soda all over the camera. Liz, after reviewing the footage through my soda covered camera, I think you got a total height of 17 feet on that fountain. That's outrageous. Whoa. I don't, I don't know what to say. That was incredible. 17 feet. We haven't seen anything like it. But everyone still has another try, so we're still moving. Guys, comment down below who you think is ultimately going to win this thing. I'm going next because I also have a throttle. I think that's why Liz's did so well is because she put a little throttle on it. I'm doing a throttle on mine. Let's see if it works. We're running out of bottles. To play we are. With. We're actually using so much soda for this. This is quite impressive. These experiments are awesome. And I think, I mean, 17 feet is outrageous, but I think I honestly might have a chance. I might. I literally might have a chance. I don't think he stands a chance. I think she I stand a chance. A, she did that with. Okay, so listen. She did 17 feet with a two-liter bottle and a throttle. I'm doing a 10-liter bottle with a throttle. How many Mentos are you dropping in? I'm not doing any Mentos actually. I'm gonna be doing the baking soda. Oh. Here we go. This is gonna be an entire box of baking soda and uh, the mega bottle. Here we go. Ready? Oh man, I'm nervous. I gotta put the cap on. Oh! Whoa! 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 <laughs> that actually went up so high. You almost soaked Liz. Yeah. Did I soak you? Yes. <laughs> I don't think anybody can beat that. <laughs> I feel like there's not a chance anybody's gonna beat that. That was literally insane. <laughs> I got completely Carter, I can, Carter can barely breathe right now. Oh man. Okay guys, I gotta say, that was outrageous. I think it was a few feet taller. I think it was about 20 to 22 feet foot fountain for mine. But we're going for Liz's try too. You're up again? Yep. Wow, I guess you don't want to wait, huh? I'm up. Liz is up. Okay, are you guys ready? Yeah. I don't know if this is gonna work. I hope it works. It's gonna work. Ready? Yeah. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it! Such a little baby fell. I guess you win some, you lose some. Liz's first one was an absolute cannon. And this one, 
was just not as interesting. This is my second attempt. My first one was a complete fail, but I'm feeling good with this one. I think I'm only going the Mentos route, the classic Mentos route. You know, everyone's using baking soda and all that good stuff. Oh, I think that's, um, you need to get some more Mentos, but I think this is gonna be the winner. All right, here we go for Liz's third unofficial attempt. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck? That little bottle of good dad high? That's how much how much baking soda did you get in there? Not a lot. That thing took off. I know. It's impressive. This is my and I'm doing a little teamwork here. I'm helping Stove out. Teamwork. I'm not gonna put it on all the way this time. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Are we good? We're going. This is it. This Everything's rolling. And pull. Go. Drop it. Right. Go, 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 go. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Here we go guys, this is our last bottle to end the video. This is just a classic big one, baking soda. I want a good quality fountain. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh boy, this is gonna be a big one. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was, such a, that was the best quality fountain and thumbnail at the same time, guys. That was actually, it wasn't the highest, but it was probably the thickest, most, like, I don't know, I'm just so impressed with how it worked with these big bottles. I was skeptical going in, but they actually worked really well. And the winner of this video goes to, well guys, I actually want you to vote because we did not actually have a real metric or tape measure to measure it, so it's all kind of speculative by looking at the replay. So we'll play Liz's replay and my replay at the same time right now. Check it out, those are the uh, potential winners. So guys, let me know in the comments down below who won this thing, Lizzie or me, and this is for $10,000. The power is in your hands. Comment down below. Comment Lizzie! <laughs> or comment Carter. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Or Lizzie. Or comment Ryan if it you really want. Fun. The goal of this video is to answer all of your questions that have to do with Diet Coke and Mentos. Like, for example, what would happen if you do Diet Coke versus baking soda? Well, let's give it a try. Oh, whoa. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> this is horrible. I hope uh, if you're wondering what this does, it does nothing. <laughs> I don't think anyone was wondering that.